It's Ken Harbaugh with Against All Enemies on the Midas Touch Network. Donald J. Trump, convicted felon, is due to be sentenced on July 11th. We don't know how that will turn out. We do know, however, that the experience of suffering through that kind of indignity will not be easy for a man as narcissistic and prideful as the former president. And for the vast majority of Americans, his status as a convicted felon will matter. One of the things we have to do between now and November is expose Trump for the criminal he is. There are so many ways to do that because Donald Trump has given us so many opportunities to call out his corruption. But an overarching theme for all of this is undermining Trump's self-constructed aura of invincibility. He is, at his core, a deeply insecure, petty human being who compensates with endless bluster. But we all saw that that doesn't work when you're on trial, and it won't work on July 11th when he faces justice, the first of many sentencing hearings he is likely to face. I wanted to talk to someone who has been through this before, ideally someone in Trump's inner circle. And there's really no one better than Lev Parnas, who spent years doing Trump's dirty work, but has paid for his crimes. He served his time, he acknowledged his mistakes, and he is now speaking out. I believe, Lev, when he says that the reason he is now standing up to MAGA extremism is that he wants to be able to tell his kids that, in the end, he chose to be on the right side of history. My full interview with Lev comes out soon on Burn the Boats, but in advance of Donald Trump's sentencing, I wanted to share this excerpt. Enjoy. Do you think this latest conviction is going to expose... Uh, Donald Trump as the the emperor with no clothes, because for so long he's been able to get away with dominating these uh, these sycophants you just mentioned, the Nikki Haley's and the Ron DeSantis's, because he seems invulnerable. Like if you if you take a shot at, at the at the elephant, you better take it down or it's going to trample you, right? Um, but he seems vulnerable now. Oh, absolutely. And and I feel like at least voters are beginning to question his invincibility. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know what? He's a convicted felon. His life has changed. And yes. a lot of people don't understand, but Donald Trump is st going to start understanding, especially in the next couple of weeks to come, because once he has to sit out, and I went through that process, once you have to sit down in front of that pro probation officer and start divulging your whole life history, and then once you get sentenced, and once, whatever that's, a, even if he doesn't go to prison, which, you know, I, I, can't imagine how the judge with everything that went on with the, the way he, you know, just, you know, trampled on all of our history, of course. <laughs> I mean, the way he just, you know, uh, I, I can't believe the judge doesn't punish him somehow with some sort of, you know, even if it's, you know, 30 days or, you know, even if it's 24 hours, I don't care, but some way to let him smell the inside of that jail cell. I know he's a big guy, tough guy talking about like he wants to be a mar. I promise you he will cry like a baby when as soon as he walks in and smells, forget about the doors locking, but just the smell that goes in there and the food. So, you know, he's not going to be able to get McDonald's delivered to him that easy, you know, and there'll be no more Big Macs or cheeseburgers. So, I hope that happens, but even if that doesn't happen, and you know the the, I mean, at worst case scenario, he's going to get some sort of you know supervisionary, maybe home confinement. That's still big. Trust me when I tell you. I mean, especially for a person like Donald Trump, losing any part of your freedom, where you can't just get up and go, where you have to make a phone call, where you have to get permission before you go, and your all of that is your life is in the hands of a regular nine to five. 55, 60,000 a year job probation officer. And it's, you know, up to him to decide or her to decide yes or no. Yes, you could, you know, fight it. Yes, you could deal with it, but that's your life. I mean, and if that day you want to go to a job interview and they say, nope, we don't want you traveling. Well, you're not going to go Donald Trump and you might not like it. You might hate it, but that's what his life is going to be all about. Uh, you know, reporting, uh, drug tests. Uh, he's a convicted uh, criminal now and that's part of his you know every time he goes up there now to speak and i think that's the important part not so much as this case because even the way the media and everybody else you know really lowered it and made it seem like this was a nothing burger that this case may shouldn't have even been brought you know helped donald trump and that whole thing even with all of that said americans i can't believe americans would vote 
and I'm not talking about the mega cultists, but the regular, once the elections come out, once the whole world is going to start realizing, once all these Americans are going to be at that voting, are going to think to themselves, can I look my kids in the face that I'm voting for a convicted felon that has another 90 conviction and another indictments ahead of him, but he's already a convicted felon. So I think that's a, that's, that's a very big part of what happened in that case, the biggest part. I, I want to talk about the politics in a second, but may surprise you, we don't have many guests on here who have firsthand experience with sitting down before a probation officer. Can you just give us a sense of what that is like for the former president to have to suffer that indignity? Um, just paint the picture for us. What's what's the room like? What's the <laughs> the power dynamic like, because it's unlike anything he's ever experienced in his life. If he gets the normal process, what he should go through, if there's no one way or the other, is there's going to be lots of forms that he's going to already have filled out prior to that and have sent in that basically uh, goes up your anal cavity with a microscope about everything you've done in the past, uh, what you do, how you drink, what you eat, uh, who you see, who you're friends with, who you're not, how you do your business, how you pay your bills. I mean, everything. You got I me mean, literally your whole life story. And just filling those papers out is uh, so, uh, how do you put it? Especially for a guy that does, does, doesn't, doesn't, uh, abide by the rules. It's very difficult to get forced to do. So that's the first step. He's going to be forced to do things he doesn't I, want I, to do. Yeah. yeah. I got a quick question about that. Are those forms legal attestations? Yeah. Like no. he can't lie well, on those, it, right? I mean, look, Donald Trump could do whatever he wants. I mean, and then we, we've seen he lie. He lies when the, he does it. When he think, when he's sleeping, he lies. He lies every time his mouth opens up. So he's going to lie on it. But those forms are really meant for the judge to be able to, uh, to make a decision of what how to sentence you. And that's what Donald Trump it doesn't, I guarantee he doesn't realize his lawyers are going to try to explain to him that these forms are meant to show leniency. But guys with as narcissist as Donald Trump with the narcissism that he has, he's going to go and lie on these for do whatever he fill them out however he wants. Obviously he's going to paint the picture the way he wants. And, and that's what the judge is going to look at. So that's why I'm saying when you go in front of the judge, and you went to trial and you lost, and now you're going to be sentenced. The judge has three things to look at. You take a look what happened in trial and the verdict, your probation report that is going to come from the probation officer that you filled out, and then to see if you have any remorse. So let's take a look at all this here. The case was a mayhem. I mean, you, you couldn't got any worse with the judge being uh, fighting with them and contempt and all of that. Probation report is probably not going to be much nicer after the way Donald Trump handles it. I'll be curious to see that. And there's no, that definitely not going to be any remorse. He's not going to get up there and apologize. He's not, I mean, he's going to get up there, if anything, and say, this is a rigged trial. So that's why I'm saying to you, for the judge not to give him some sort of prison set, because if this would be anybody else, and I know the media is out there saying, well, these sort of cases, most people don't go to prison. Exactly, because mostly these cases, everybody is apologetic. Everybody wants the cases over is trying to get the lenient sentence. And that goes into consideration because nobody wants to be a martyr and go to prison. Donald Trump is so narcissistic, doesn't understand the process, doesn't understand. And that's why I'm very curious to see how Judge Mention ha handles this and uh, what sentence he gives him because, you know, this is a precedent that we're setting. I mean, to, because if he doesn't do nothing, What's the next billionaire? It doesn't have to be the ex-president. It just has to be the next guy with a lot of money that could get up there and do the same thing to our system. And eventually what happens to our judicial system, if we could do that. So uh, I think this is more than just a sentence. This is a, a message that has to be sent through Donald Trump to for this not to happen again, not to be able to do what this man is doing. Thanks for watching, everyone. I have been so humbled by the support of this audience and the speed at which this show has grown. You are why I and the whole team here do this. If you're interested in bonus content, check out my Patreon page. It's free to sign up, and there's an option to donate as well. The link is right there and in the show notes. Thanks again. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.